Hello ladies and mental Chen and welcome to another replay cast for the old times sake playing the WZ Juan 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 4 as I was writing for the tier 10 Chinese heavy that's gonna be implemented in the next patch anyways some things to get off uh, before we start this uh, replay cast so first of all I'm gonna be in tank fest regardless of what has happened before i'm still gonna be there so you're still gonna have a chance to beat me if you want to and tell me in person that i should make more youtube videos and stop being a lazy piece of shit which i would obviously appreciate and uh the best way to keep in touch is to follow my twitter which will be linked in the description below i'll try to uh post my location every once in a while to make sure you guys can find me if you so desire and the other thing uh to all of those who want to hear my opinion on the anime tanks on CA server, I mean, what can I say? Fucking, I feel sorry for you guys, and it sucks a lot that you get to deal with more of uh, overpowered bullshit premium tanks, but I'm not gonna repeat what many people have said already before on YouTube about this issue. Obviously, the tanks are broken as balls, and Wargaming kind of outdid themselves with the stupidity of that one, so not really much to say about uh, for me there, but uh, anyways, we're playing the WZ-1114 on Fisherman's Bay. Most of my, like, really the best games in this thing have been on the Fisherman's Bay. Not really sure why exactly. It is a pretty good map for this, as you can uh, kind of dominate the middle of it and then just hold down the uh, remaining flank that could not win right at the start and this time it seems that uh, the city flank for us is pretty pretty good there is an e 5 and the type 4 heavy in there so two out of the three tier nines are there not a very steep matchmaking but then again with a new matchmaking form roller this is quite to be expected also the amount of damage this gun does per shot is just nuts uh, the 490 damage per shot is really really powerful in uh, in this tier especially by a heavy tank that isn't slow as shit Yet, you can see the weakness of this tank, even with AP, KV-3, straight through the front, just doesn't have any lower plate armor on this thing. So it is very easy to get panned by pretty much any tank that uh, you're ever going to meet uh, in uh, the matchmaking you can have. Uh, also, the T-29 penned me, so we're going to make sure that he does not attempt that ever again, and we're going to try to murder him as fast as possible. It's just important to get rid of him uh, and clear up my back so I can focus more towards the city and he's giving me an easy shot so I'm gonna take it and move along with my life. Uh, the city looks a bit fucked but then again we have a motion there and they aren't really doing that hot. I mean they still have a type 4 heavy and he's gonna be there for a long long time because he's a type 4 heavy. But the Eastern 5 is almost dead, we finish off one of the ISs, there's still one to go, but it shouldn't really be the biggest issue in the world, especially because he's carrying the baby bitch gun, and we set him on fire and murder him as well, so that works out reasonably well, uh, the city is go shaping up to look fine now, there's still that type 4 heavy that we just talked about, but uh, meanwhile in behind us there, uh, isn't that much friendlies uh, there to support, so that's gonna be kind of dodgy uh, as uh, the enemy team is likely to take the K1 corner and move from there. We are hitting some nice shots and when you're hitting some nice shots with this gun, the damage racks up really quickly. And our gun is working for the most part well, so definitely no complaints here. Uh, the really big, the big difference between this and the T10 is the fact that the T10 does not get shit on in the lower plate so badly and it has a more consistent gun but at the same time the gun does not hit for 490 which definitely is a pretty big advantage for this uh chinese heavy tank meanwhile in the city the type 4 is still alive and the e 5 is as well we don't really get a good shot on the 75 there so that's very unlikely to pan and it didn't uh the other side is still fucked and we're getting spotted now, so it's kind of a dodgy situation, kind of stuck in the middle of all of this, so we don't really want to get shot by that e 5 all too much either, so we gotta have to find the shots here, and this Lorraine uh, is not not a very hard shot, I don't really, uh, I didn't really aim it very well, but I was running out of gun depression, so it was a pretty tricky shot for a tank like this, obviously the poor gun depression is one of the main downsides of the WZ-1114. 
Mark 1 to 4. Now, so there's a super brushing here and a 1375 that could spot me for the tank destroyers behind. So I need to be chilling. And uh, also the leopard uh, is still there and still shooting at me. So we don't really want to overcommit, as you can see on that tiger. You really don't want to get spotted here in the open. I mean, I'm not driving a tiger, so I will not die like he did there. But still, you don't really want to be chilling in the open in a position like this. Our main goal here should be to deal with the super pershing and possibly Lorraine if he is anywhere around just to deny the enemy team the spotting on the middle but first of all we're just gonna finish up the season E5 as the rest of our team was really really struggling to finish him off and now the Leopard is spotted, the T25-2 is spotted, Lorraine is spotted, the Scorpion is spotted, everything is pretty much spotted we're starting off with the Scorpion, the most dangerous gun uh, closest to us as well so that is definitely our first target to start with and he's trying to yolo me for the last shot or maybe he wasn't i don't even know but he dies anyways and uh that is a definitely a good start for us to solve the rest of this game i mean we are winning at the moment it's very unlikely that we're gonna lose because we still have that motion as well i'm not sure what his hit points is at and i can't really be bothered to check it out either but uh at this point i mean I I alone could probably deal with enemy team as long as they don't all rush me at the same time. So I'm not really all that worried about the rest of my team's health and our ability to really win this game. This is not a really good position to get spotted in as I do have players on my left and I won't really be able to shoot them. But the Lorraine gets spotted and the Lorraine is our main concern. It's the only tank that can really hurt me. So we're gonna focus him down first, uh, try to make sure that he cannot hurt anybody anymore as that would be very mean but first of all we're gonna start with this super pershing who instantly dies after i track him so that works out really well and now pushing on this lorraine trying to put the houses between myself uh self and where i think the most of the enemy tank destroyers will be also very likely that this lorraine is reloading after shooting my teammates earlier got a pretty lucky tracking shot there but uh it shouldn't really matter uh i mean we would have had the kill unless we missed that uh shot there but uh missing it would have been quite unlucky anyways we pick up the lorraine and now we for sure know that this game is over and it's all about the uh, the cleanup and uh i should really be getting this shot here on this low uh, leopard uh as he is chilling in the open the aiming time as you can see it's not terrible but uh, uh you definitely uh well i had like 30 percent chance to hit him if i fired right away probably was worth it as we would have reloaded uh, before the next time we spot him and now it's like go for the damage or go for the kill since i'm already on six kills i'm like yeah let's go for the kills and see if we can uh, get some nice radley walters action in here even uh, well no uh pools was not really a, a an ability here for me but uh even uh, radley walters is gonna be tricky to get as the last tanks are gonna get focused down by our entire team in here uh, maybe i can reload for this guy but uh probably not as he's driving up the hill and we fire just after he dies and the last guy left in is Ferdy Dank. Very unlikely to do, do any good to anyone. Uh, what we're looking for here is a tracking shot or the killing shot for the Radley. But realistically, we don't really give a shit. We have already won this game and I feel like we've done our part before even this Ferdinand gets shot at. But we do get the tracking shot with a nice damage roll. So that works out well for me as well. Alright, so here's the end plate. Ace Tanker, 5134 experience with the times two booster running top gun tank sniper high caliber confederate 8176 damage done seven kills 1711 base experience so very solid game for me in the wz one 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 four very solid tank as well has its weaknesses with a terrible lower plate and a bit of a potato gun but the gun was behaving well we hit 20 2 out of 24 and pen 20 out of uh, out of those. So pretty decent game for me. Really cannot complain about too much. And I hope you guys enjoyed this replay cast. I'll see you in the tank fest or on the next YouTube video. Peace out.